Hello, Peter. At the Garden House Care Home in Bristol, 89-year-old resident Peter Drew is taking part in scientific research, specifically his new socks. The invention wirelessly transmits data to an app used by care home staff. The information monitors vital stats as well as agitation in those living with dementia. On this page, we're seeing activity, so how much Peter's moving around with, uh, with the sock. We also record his heart rate. What we're doing with the smart socks is to detect signs of distress that the person might not be able to articulate due to a condition like dementia. Um, it's really important that we detect this early so that the carer can intervene and support that person. So we generate an alert then through our app. The carer can respond to that alert, support the person. For carers at this home, any new way to look after their residents is welcome. It could certainly prevent um, falls um, because it would provide the, the early warning system for staff to um, it, it give into intervention. Um, it, could, um, it could prevent distress between um, two sets of residents, as well as all the usual signs of infection, pain and other physical things. The Smart Socks invention has just secured new research funding, which is being led by the University of Exeter. For us, it's all about accurately measuring agitation and distress in people with dementia. So that's a real challenge because um, as dementia gets more severe, communication gets more difficult. It's time to do the largest study of these socks in nursing homes. So we're scaling things up. Uh, we're going to be trialling the socks on 30 people uh, living with dementia in uh, three or four nursing homes in the southwest. Ultimately, things like smart socks are intended for use not just in care settings, but inside people's actual homes. They are part of a growing trend in high-tech solutions to help people suffering with complex conditions. We cannot have a carer, a professional carer, in each and every household of people living with, with dementia. Their partners are doing what they can, but they are limited with their capacity, and we need to support them. Technology is the way to support them, is the way to enable better care in the home. This is the latest invention to incorporate technology into the care system. There's a lot of anxiety there as well. Yeah. It allows nurses to have eyes and ears on a patient, even when they're not in the room. Dan Whitehead, Sky News, in Bristol.